Rankin County, Mississippi, 1823. What? You mean it was this year? All right, cut. Rankin County, Mississippi, 2023. Rankin County, Mississippi, January 24th, 2023. Um, well, I don't even know how to explain what just happened here, but um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you the news article and take it from there. We begin now with breaking news. The Rankin County Sheriff's Office has terminated all the deputies who allegedly beat and tortured two black men back in January. 12 News' Leah Williams is live at the Rankin County Sheriff's Office and has the details for us. Leah? Walt, an attorney for the Rankin County Sheriff's Office, says that all of the officers involved were fired on Friday. Now, this comes after a federal lawsuit, federal civil rights lawsuit was filed against the deputies and Rankin County Sheriff Brian Bailey earlier this month. Back in January, attorneys say six deputies went into Eddie Parker's home in Braxton without a warrant. His friend, Michael Corey Jenkins, was in the home as well and says a deputy shot him in the mouth. Sheriff Bailey addressed the incident for the first time this afternoon. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigations were, was requested by me to conduct an independent investigation into an incident involving deputies with the Rankin County Sheriff's Department on January 24th, 2023. We have cooperated with all investigation efforts related to this incident and have provided all information and, and data requested in a timely manner. This will continue until all investigative efforts are complete and justice is served. Sheriff Bailey also says a full-time compliance officer was hired to oversee the department. Now, he wouldn't answer any further questions about this incident due to the lawsuit and an ongoing investigation by MBI and the U.S. Department of Justice. Live in Rankin County, Leah Williams, 12 News. After seeing that and doing a little bit of research, I realized that they left a lot of information out of the story. So here's another version of what happened. Deputies accused of beating and sexually assaulting two black men before shooting one of them in the mouth. This prompted a federal civil rights investigation, and these folks have been fired. The announcement comes months after Corey, uh, Michael Corey Jenkins and his friend Eddie Terrell Parker said that six deputies from the Rankins County Sheriff's Department burst into their home without a warrant. The men said that deputies beat them up assaulted them with a sex toy and shocked them repeatedly with tasers in a roughly 90 minute episode. Jenkins said that one of the deputies shoved a gun in his mouth and then fired the weapon, leaving him basically without his tongue. It was, it was pretty much severed. Um, there's so much going on with this. Um, the chief wouldn't answer basic questions. Due to the recent developments, um, they've decided to go ahead and fire five of those officers. Um, they found that several of the officers that were involved were also involved with a lot of different violence episodes that have happened in the past and the death of a number of uh, younger black men in the area. Quick breakdown of the officers we know that were involved. First one, Hunter Allward. Um, he's the one who put the gun in Michael Jenkins' mouth. He's also involved in the killing of Pierre Woods and Damian Cameron. We have Christian Deedmoon. He um, killed, also killed Pierre Woods. Um, and he's the cousin of Daryl Deedman, who killed James Craig Anderson back in Jackson in 2011, becoming Mississippi's first official hate crime. Then we have Brett McAlpin. He's got many lawsuits against him for civil rights violations. Of course, there's Sheriff Brian Bailey, who is complicit, and he was actually at the scene with, for a lot of these incidences. Not the one that just happened, though. Um, Luke Stickman. All right, guys, here's a very quick summary of facts for the case here. Um, on January 24th, 2023, six deputies raided the home of Eddie Parker. Eddie's friend, Michael Jenkins, was there. They did not have a warrant, and they turned off their body cameras. The deputies were part of a specialized tactical unit that was started by Sheriff Bailey. Eddie and Michael were cuffed and tortured for roughly 90 minutes. The deputies basically um, accused them of dealing drugs and dating white women. The torture included waterboarding with milk. They were beaten. They were called racial slurs. They were tased roughly 20 to 30 times, and they had a contest to see whose taser was the strongest. 
And this was actually backed by the fingerprint of the taser. I guess you can actually look and see how many times it's been deployed. They were sexually assaulted with a dildo and forced to shower together. Hunter Alwood put his service pistol into Michael's mouth and pulled the trigger, nearly killing him, but instead severed his tongue. Um, They left him alone to seek aid by himself. While Michael was in the hospital, a participating deputy was with him the entire time watching him. So he didn't have any private time uh, with his mom or his family without a deputy being there. And uh, Michael was charged with assaulting an officer in possession. And Eddie Parker was charged with paraphernalia and disorderly conduct. Now, guys, um, they do have a GoFundMe. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to link that. I'm going to put that in a pinned comment. So I highly suggest checking it out. Um, It also has updates from Michael's mom about his condition and what's going on. And she could give better insight on what's going on with the case. Um, This is unbelievable. This is so outrageous and just unfathomable. We need to demand that these officers are charged. Because if there's ever an instance of police brutality where officers should be charged, this is it. Like, I can't think of any other scenario where an officer should be charged more than in this scenario right here. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.